Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today we are here at Dollywood and we are going to explore the Dollywood Museum. So come along with us right after the station identification. Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Join me as I travel the highways and byways in search of adventure, where we will explore roadside attractions, abandoned places, historical, and even the weird and strange. And hey, maybe a food review or two. Please subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to click that bell so you won't miss any future videos. This is the Dolly Pardon museum here in Dollywood. Dolly's life and photographs and little mementos. And she's been photographed with all kinds of famous people. Sylvester Stallone, and Willie Nelson, and Eddie Rabbit. All the famous people. Ricky Van Shelton. Lots of folks. Walls, folks. We are here in Dolly's attic now. There is Dolly's daughter that delivered her. Dr. R.F. Thomas, his mailbox. Sometimes when Dolly was a little kid, she pretended she was performing on a tobacco stick and a tin can turned into a microphone. In these mountains, there is a certain pace that survives sets for you. It can't be changed for one dreamy little kid being dragged in unknowingly through the threshold of life. Dolly says, we had two rooms, a path, and running water, if you were willing to run to get to it, that is. She got to walk, so she could stay at the house. Dolly sang a song that became very famous, Coat of Many Colors. And here is the coat that inspired it. Too poor to buy coats, so made one from scrap material. Of course, Dolly didn't stay poor forever. She moved right on up the ladder after she became famous. Here are some of her performance clothing. There was a movie made about a decade ago called A Coat of Many Colors that was inspired by Dolly's song. Oh, 
Tommy's grandfather, Reverend Jake Owens, says that he was the rock of their family. Almost from the day he was born, he was called to preach. And when he preached, you could literally feel the fires of hell. remember writing love letters when you were in grade school and folding them up like that? I did. But I don't have any of them now. But apparently Bobby does. There's one she wrote to Bobby. Here's a class photograph. Class photograph taken at the state capitol in Nashville. And they all had beehive hairdos. And Dolly appeared on the Porter Wagner show. She said she didn't mind singing about flower and other things, but she did not enjoy singing about Black Draw, which was a laxative that, so the jingle said, made you smile from the inside. The dress that Dolly wore on the Porter Wagner show. And there's Dolly appearing on the Porter Wagner show. The old Porter himself with Speck Rhodes. He was a comedian clown type. I've never seen Dolly in person, but from those dresses there, she is fairly tiny, or at least was. But I'll add, she was tiny in the waist, not there. I couldn't resist. All of Dolly's clothing, these from Dream more, dream more. Here's a question for you. Did Dolly ever wear anything more than once? Wear it one time, then put it in a museum. A replica of the cabin that Dolly and her brothers and sisters were raised in. This is a replica of the cabin that Dolly and her 10 siblings were raised in. And this is the whole thing. Can you, can you imagine how tiny? I think they would have to eat shifts. 
Maybe they would all pile into that bed. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been in the Dolly Museum, but that was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. But for now, y'all have a good day.